Yo guys, it's Dwight K. We're back. We're about to clap this left side of the box. If you want to see what we got on the right side of the box, check out the previous video. So let's just get straight to it. So first pack on the right side, we got starting Mankey. Got Pancham. We got Pharaoh Seed. We got Pidgeotto. Got Charmander. We got Reverse Ponyard. And yo, first pack again? Starting with a full art this time Ampharos GX and look at that pattern hey let's go strong start again you already know starting off with this second pack we got Ponyard we got Staryu we got Honedge got Weedle we got Dratini Kabutops rare okay and we got Bisharp <laughs> All right, in this pack, we got Galvantula, we got Blitzel, we got Sleeping Squirtle, we got Tentacle, got Paris, Nidoran Male, Reverse, and Electrode Hollow. <laughs> I like that crochet effect that they have on it. This is actually, it takes a lot of skill, I imagine. So definitely appreciate that. So a little bit of a story time while I open this pack. Dwight K, actually, the name that I use, it actually comes from the show, The Office, 10 out of 10 show, recommend. It's not on Netflix anymore, they took it off, Reverse Weedle. But Dwight K. Shrew, that is the best character in The Office. He made the show, he was the best character, and, and yeah. So, Ampharos GX, Full Art's the only pull we got so far. Let's see if we can get two. We got Mareep, we got Vulpix. We got buff padding, and we got Lugia G. Boy. I mean, not GX. Lugia Hollow Rare, dude. This Hollow is probably the most expensive in the set. The last one sold for like two hundred dollars. No cap. Damn. Let's see the condition on this. Centering looks a one. TBH left to right, bottom to top. Dude, let's check the back. Dude, this looks like a straight up. Oh, hold on. Is that? Oh! Let me see if I can get that closer. That little, like, nick at the corner? I don't know if that'll keep it from a 10, but other than that, this looks great. Dude. That's a great hit. And in this pack, we got Dratini, we got Tentacool, we got Ponyta, we got Alolan Grimer, we got Cosmog, Galvantula Rare, and Needle King. Not bad. Nothing in this pack, though. Alright, in this pack, we got Psyduck, we got Vullaby, we got Weedle, we got Helioptile, Execute, we got Ponyta Reverse. And Incineroar, a second full art. Hey, let's go. This Incineroar, hey, look at that right there. That looks nice. Pretty spicy if I do say so. So if you guys are curious about the artwork in the back, actually my girlfriend, shout out to her, she painted these. And yeah, it came out real nice. Starting with Paris, we got Joltik, we got Blitzel, Sleeping Squirtle, we got Tentacle, Pidgey Reverse, and a Lolan Mark. Nothing in this one. If I pull a Rainbow Rare in any of these last remaining packs, I swear, free Charizards for everyone out there watching. Death cup. Death cup. All right. Starting with this one, we got Vulpix, we got Pancham, we got Squirtle, Klefki, Voltorb, Bisharp Reverse Rare, and Charizard Regular Rare Non-Hollow, but this one can go for a good amount if it's in good condition. Just from first glance, it looks pretty on center. Damn, this one looks like a straight up 10. There's not even the nick on the corner that you could see on the Luki. It's not even on this one. Hey, let's go. 
We got Paris. We got Pidgey. We got Vullaby. We got Nidoran Female. I'm a star reverse rare, another reverse rare, and a low link executor. That's pretty much it. With the Gen 8 starters in the back, who do you guys think is the best Gen 8 starter? Hands down, it has to be Score Bunny. I picked Score Bunny since the beginning, but the best start of all time is no cap uh, Turtwig, without a doubt. We got a Lolan Geodude at the front here, Mankey. We got Pancham. We got Pharaoh Seed, Pidgeotto, Pokemon Communication, and Mimikyu. <laughs> Nothing in that one. Narrowing down here, let's see if we can still pull out a Rainbow Ray here in the box. We got Pancham, we got Squirtle, we got Klefki, we got Reverse Dana, I think, and Morgan Full Art. That's the first time I see a Full Art trainer from this set. Full Art Morgan, and actually the trainers, the trainers have actually spiked in the market. These trainers used to not go for that much, but nowadays they're going for a good amount of change. So that's a hit. But that, is, that actually brings the total up to three full hearts so far in just this left side of the box. All right, and this pack, let's see if the dream of a rainbow rare can come true. We got Charmander, the Laptile, Mankey, Alolan Geodude Reverse, and Dragonite over uh, actually a hollow rare. There we <laughs> this one's actually one of the better ones. Dragonite's a fan favorite. Not bad. Down to the last three packs. Let's see what they can produce. Boltor, Squirtle, we got Bronzor, we got Klefki, we got Pidgey, Reverse Mareep, and a Lolan Executor. What the nut? How many times are we gonna get this one? Second to last pack, we're starting with Mareep, and we got Vulpix, we got Joltik, we got Blitzel, Sleeping Squirtle, Sleeping Squirtle again. And Pangoro regular rare. And down to the last pack. Can we get a rainbow rare? Rainbow rare, please be in there. Boy, if you don't. Last pack started with a Weedle. We got Dratini. We got a Lolan Grimer. We got Ponyta. Cosmog. Reverse Dragonair. And regular rare Ninetale. Womp, womp, womp. What the? Freak. But honestly, even without the Rainbow Rare, we still finish really strong with three Full Arts and pretty much the most expensive Hollow Rare in the set with Lugia. So actually, let me just organize these real fast. Yeah, so in the box, on the left side of the box, check out the right if you didn't, but we end off the left side with Incineroar Full Art. We got Ampharos GX, Lugia Hollow Rare, man, that one looks sick. We got regular rare Charizard, which actually it should be counted as a hollow, and then Dragonite regular hollow, and a Morgan Full Art Trainer. These trainers are going up in price. Check the prices; these ones are going up. But overall, left side of the box compared to the right side of the box, you guys comment down below which side produced the better hits. I don't know. I think it's tight, but you guys let me know. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next opening. Stay tuned. They're coming up. And if you guys want to see a modern set opened up in the future, just comment down below what you guys like to see, and I'll try to get my hands on it soon. So I'll catch you guys. Take it easy.